Master.net, and tonight we're going to take apart a Dell laptop for the purpose of changing out our flat screen on the LCD here. Now, imagine you had your, your computer, you're minding your own business, bam, something happens, you drop the computer, you smash the screen, you pray to God, you power it back up, and the screen is all cracked and you can't really make out your image, and, and you're thinking you have to drop maybe another grand, another $1,200 on a brand new laptop. Well, I'm going to show you it's not necessary, and you can fix this thing yourself. It's totally in your hands. You can do this for probably less than $100, maybe $70, whatnot. I'll take you through the process. It's really simple. You just need a little patience. You're going to need a couple of extra items. Go down to the dollar store and grab a couple of these. You're going to need... You're going to need two really small flathead screwdrivers, the kind you would use to fix a pair of eyeglasses or something small around the house. And another similar sized Phillips head uh, screwdriver as well too. That's going to get you through the process real fast and quick. I say two because you're going to use them to leverage the frame around the screen off. I've taken a little bit off here so far, you might be able to see. Um, but I'm going to walk through the process step by step and show you just how easy it is. So stick with me, we'll get it done real quick and get you back up and running cheap bastard style. Uh, you're going to notice throughout the screen, the frame around the screen here, you're going to have these little rubber um, divots along the way. They look a little bit like this. I don't know if you can kind of hold it out here. These little rubber balls here. Those are going to be mounted around the frame. If you have them, not all do. Um, but if you have them there, pop those out. You're just going to use your flathead screwdriver and just literally pop them gently out and put them on the side and make sure you don't lose anything in the process. Okay, next. Uh, once those are off, you're going to use your Phillips head screwdriver. Now typically there's either four or six little Phillips head screws that are mounted right here or some, uh, some of the newer PCs or laptops don't even have them. So you can just use uh, two flat heads. Now what you're going to use the two flat heads for after you pop those screws out is you're going to ever so gently use the two of them to pry the two seams apart here along the way. I'll try and collapse this back together again and give you an idea what I'm doing. As you can see, it's not put together too, uh, too, too hard. Okay, you see along those seams? You're going to gently work your way along here, just separating the two, separating using one to keep it open and the second one to work your way around. And you're going to go all the way around the perimeter. Resist the urge to pull too hard or work too fast. You're going to get it done. Just take your time, be patient, or you might do more damage than you'd set out to do. So I'll take you through. Here we go. Or maybe two on each side, little Phillips head screws on each side of these brackets. The purpose of the brackets, obviously, is to keep the screen mounted in place. So we're going to take those off next, okay? Okay, with that done, hopefully the screen should be able to pop out now. Let's try and get that done here. And there we go, easy as that. We've got the screen out, and we can lay it down flat. Okay, if it's an older uh, laptop, you'll see you'll just have one ribbon cable that shoots up here. Be really careful about how you disconnect it. Okay, there might be a little handle or a bar that we can lift up on, and you'll see at this side up, you want to keep that oriented properly. So let's try and take this out. This has two little hasps on it, so we'll disengage those. and that ribbon cable should just come right out like that. As we lay the screen down, you're, you're going to see if it's an older laptop style, you'll see just one ribbon cable connecting into the, uh, uh, the LCD screen where you get your video feed from. In the newer ones, you might have a second one up here, and that'll go to your little video, onboard video camera. Uh, you may have to disconnect that in order to get the screen out, or you can just get away with just doing one. It's really, um, well, however your configuration is, but it's pretty simple to figure out whether or not it's going to be in the way. So. 
being very mindful and careful of this ribbon cable, being careful not to bend it or crimp it, and not to touch anything underneath this little plastic shield here. What we're going to do is we're going to remove this ribbon cable from its socket. Now, from manufacturer to manufacturer, the little tangs that keep it in place might be different. So either way, working very gently and carefully, we're going to take these tangs off and slide the ribbon cable off. And that should set us free for the time being. We'll put that in there for safekeeping. And it looks like we have one more on this end. Okay, now that we have the LCD screen free, I'm going to take it out. There. Totally free, and maybe you can see where it's cracked in there. It's a little dirty. Now, on the back of the screen, this is probably the most important part of the procedure because you don't know what kind of screen you have yet. You're going to flip it around, and you should see, you'll see a manufacturer's number on here. That's your model number. Okay, so what you Write that do down. Is using the number that's on the back of the screen, make sure you have the right number, the right model. This one happens to be a Dell Inspiron 6400. You can take that information and go to an online site, whether it be to do a Google search on sale, uh, laptop, LCD screen, um, or just go to eBay and type in the, the make and model number and the, the size of the screen. It might be a 15, a 15.6, and order it. There's a number of great uh, sellers on there. You're going to average, mm, depending on the model number, anywhere between $65 and $95. And don't be afraid to shop around for deals with free shipping, depending on how much of a rush you're in. Okay, so once you have that and you get the new screen that comes in, the new screen will look like this. The new screen will usually come in an anti-static bag like this and you'll be ready to take it out and just reverse the procedure that we used uh, to install it back in. Take your time, um, there's no rush, you figure the thing is almost a write-off anyways unless you repair the screen. Go through the process, connect the ribbon cables um, back up, be very gentle with the process. Uh, uh, mount the screen back upright, make sure it's facing in the right direction, uh, upwards that is. Uh, put your brackets back on, put your frame back on. We'll go to the frame. You get your frame back on once the screen's on. Gently put the Phillips head screws back in, put your rubber grommets back in, fire it up and you're good to go and you're back in business and surfing the interweb. Alright, for the CheapBaster.net, I'm Chuck Barnett and we'll have your next one for you sometime soon. Send in those requests.